Hi. Um, so I'm excited to offer you this video. Um, I decided to make short clips of information that uh, comes out of my coaching sessions. And of course, everything will be anonymous. So in a session today, I was work I'm working with this woman who is um, wanting to make uh, a lot of changes in her life. And uh, she wants to make these changes to support this um, the growth that she wants. She wants us to, to teach. She wants to be a leader. She wants to have uh, open all parts of herself so she can lead other people. And throughout our conversation, I noticed that uh, she, whenever she was talking about what she wanted and the growth she wanted, it started off with a pre her preamble, or she started off first with what was wrong or why something in her past wasn't good, uh, what she had done um, at other times that she was trying to move from. And it had me think, and we talked about this, that oftentimes we believe that the growth is only going to happen uh, if I condemn my past, that it's a, 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 it's a requirement to condemn who I have been and what I have been in order to have the next thing. Well, the, in, in a domain of sustainable growth, the best news about anything sustainable is that it asks for it to include all of us because it requires all of our background, all of our learnings, all of our life experiences. And it doesn't, um, it doesn't condemn any of them because it knows there's value, there's gold in, all, in anything we've ever done, seen, been, achieved, or not achieved. Um, so sustainable growth oftentimes asks less of us because it wants to it needs to include all of us it's looking to include all the parts of who we've been who we are and who we want to be and because it's not drawing from a condemnation of what we've been in order to grow the sensations are usually are, are um, quieter that means that there's that the usual ahas that happen in transformational workshops because we're not needing to move from bad to good we're starting from good and we're going to great and um, anytime we want to go from good to great the growth is actually a little quieter the sustainable growth that we're looking for happens over a small over small increments of time where all of a sudden we are doing things differently we are taking on our life differently because we can as we start with i've uh, everything i've done i'm going to bring into my life now anybody who i've ever been i'm going to bring in my life now because it is going to serve me and where i want to go next so if you're looking for growth, if you're, especially if you're wanting sustainable growth, which I'm a big advocate of, my advice to you is start in the quiet place of um, the approving of who you are and then notice everything you are and, and then start to look, on, look, to look at um, what you want to create next. It's not a requirement to have been perfect before in order to be perfect now.